Hello everyone, welcome to Tommy Media's Tommy Chalk Talk, where we go beyond the box score and take a closer look at St. Thomas Sports. My name's Tom Pitts and alongside of me, Jordan Kruger. Jordan, St. Thomas men's basketball team riding high on a 13-game win streak. They beat some really quality te teams during that stretch. Tom, you got that exactly right. Coming into this week, ranked the number two team in the nation. They beat the second through sixth place teams in the Maya Conference in the last two weeks in Bethel, St. Olaf, St. John's, Gus Davis, and Augsburg. So St. Thomas is really playing some fantastic basketball right now. Best basketball they've played all year. Yeah, and what's the key to their success? How are they getting it done? It really starts with their backcourt. you got their guards who are playing absolutely spectacular right now. Grant Schaefer, who's the point guard on this team, averaging 10.8 points per game, 4.4 assists, doing a really nice job setting up the offense and making sure everyone's you know, doing things. Schaefer also attacks the basket real well and creates opportunities for other players. And then Marcus Alapate, the streaky three-point shooter, who can get to the basket a little bit, shooting the ball really, really well right now, and it's helping this team move forward. But then you also have to talk about the sixth man in Cortez Tillman. He's the axe factor for the St. Thomas team. When they need extra motivation, he's the one who gives them the spark. Tillman averaging 10.7 points per game right now as the sixth man on this team. So he's really the key for this team in this win streak. Yeah, and it's not just the guards, though. I mean, they have impressive depth all throughout their starting lineup, don't they? They do, and, you know, that's something that St. Thomas can really fall back on, especially if they make a playoff run. They're shooting 44.4% from three-point field goal range, and, you know, everyone says you live and die by the three-point shot, especially during playoff time, but I don't think that's the case for this team. I think that Connor Nord and Ryan Sorella, Nord averaging 11.2, Sorella 10.2 points per game, and then you got Taylor Montero in the mix at 11.3 points per game, I mean, your starting lineup is averaging over 10 points per game, which is absolutely fantastic. So if the three-point shooting isn't there, Tom, I think they'll be able to use their post play to beat teams. Thanks for joining us on Tommy Media's Tommy Chalk Talk. Be sure to check Tommy Media for late, your latest campus news and full coverage of St. Thomas Sports.